Back off the floor. Flattening them out. Mm -hmm. We worked on your five on five sweep, the six on six sweep, and then the S grip sweep. Right, so we worked on getting our posture right here, getting underneath the chin, flattening them out, turning them over, doing it. So I'm doing it here. Rocking back so his hip goes in front of his knee and kicking it out of the knee, right? Getting our reaction from him right there. Um, so today we're working on another transition. And it actually is perfect that he was stepping that leg up right there, right? Because that's when we're going to do this most of the time. And it's funny because a lot of times when I'm doing butterfly guard, this is what I'm setting up anyway, so I'll kind of favor to one side. So we start off regular butterfly guard and uh, start pushing a knee and going to one side right here. I'm just going to fall to that side. And I'm going to bring my other foot behind this foot right here. And we're just going to start doing the bottom one. Let's put it in the exact same place it was, okay? It hasn't moved anywhere. It's just right here, right? So yeah, he pushes on me. He goes to that side. It just crosses on me. And I grab on on both sides right here. Right? You can do X guard like this also is probably the proper way to do it with the transition in this case to the modified X guard is much, much easier right here and it gives us a couple of really good options. So the first thing that we're going to practice um, is uh, go to all fours. So we're going to practice from a regular position right here. We're fighting for our position. He pushes on our knee. We go over to the side as I'm going. You can see my hand is already looking to get under here. So I know as he goes, he's going to step his leg around. And I'm just falling this leg hook right where it needs to be. This one's just smoothly going right to here. And I'm going to pull him up. And I'm not going to stop until I have control of his leg all the way over my shoulder right here. Here we go. Okay. So I have him trapped right here with my feet. And I've, I'm not holding on out here like this. I'm actually trying to put the crook of his knee on top of my shoulder right here so I can hold on to his upper thigh. Feel the control right there? So he's <laughs> stuck, he can't go anywhere, right? And from here, <laughs> we have a couple different sweeps that we're gonna try. But the first thing I wanna do is be able to get the guy in this position. Because if he tries to move, he's stuck right here, right? So we wanna be able to control that position first, and then we're gonna work on the sweep. First thing we're gonna do is grab a partner. He's right here. He pushes on the one side, we fall over. We're reaching underneath, our feet are crossing and we're pulling him all the way over. I like to call it putting him in the cradle because I have him between my knees right here and between my shoulders right here. So he's kind of in the middle of me and now I'm his center of gravity and I'm the one that can move his everything, like put, rock him like a baby, right? I don't want to have my knees here. I don't want to have my knees here. I want to have him in the middle of them and I want to have him in the middle of them. So grab a partner back and forth, putting him in the cradle for our modified x guard. Go. different sweeps from there. Um, Alright, so on this one right here, um, the same thing's going to happen. We're going to set ourselves into the same x guard position. Why? Because when he starts pushing our knee and going around to this side, I can use do this. It's a pretty good strategy for him to push this down and go around. That's a good way for him to do it. However, it leads right into this move for us. So as soon as somebody touches my knee on this side, I'm just okay. I'm pulling through, getting my knees pulling them up all the way. Now when I do this, it's going to be tempting to try and go like this and get him over his arms right here. Or try and this one, get him over his butt. But you don't have the leverage so long, and he has too much hands and stuff to go the other way, right? So when I do this, I'm actually from the position I'm in, just straightening my legs. 
what I'm doing. This way right here. Everything just goes straight with my body. It's going to be tempting to go to the left or right. Don't. Just extend straight. Because I have this leg trapped, that's where I need to move the sweep to. That leg's trapped. That pushing action straight for me it moves at a 45 angle degree angle to the leg we have trapped and it makes him hop right over. Now when I do this, I want everything as he goes up to stay exactly where it is. Both my feet and hands and I'm just following him all the way up. It's exactly the position I was at the bottom a second ago, but now I'm on top. And this hand here is going to reach down and try and get chin control. From here. Uh, from right here, he's going to tell me which way he wants me to go. Right? He's either going to feel the pressure from his leg right here, and he's going to try and push it down. Or he's going to tell me to, to move this way to my side control. Or I'm going to start going for a shoulder. He's going to push on me right there and not want me to do that. And tell me to go this way, my side control, right? It's the same as when we're doing our kind of banana split pass from our open guard on top. So he pushes on our knee right here. We're falling over, holding him up right here, getting him in the position, and straightening everything that way. And exaggerate going straight. Don't start tending off to the way he is. The farther you push towards the way he's going, the more his hands are going to come into play right here, right? You have to push him this way, it's going to knock him over sideways, and that's what we want. Our feet and hands should stay in the exact same spot so that when we follow them up, we're safe from half guard, any leg lock attempts, anything like that down here. We have control of his legs for pressure, looking for chin control, he's going to tell us by pushing his legs for this way, or our head, the arms, for us to pass this way, right? So. Grab a partner back and forth. It's just our standard uh, modified X guard. Go. Standard modified. <laughs> standard, standard modified X guard sweep. Starts the exact same way, right? We're going right here, he pushes, we get ourselves, we feel this, no problem, load him up, get him right here. Now this time I'm having trouble. Maybe he posted out really wild on it, real far on his arm right here. I'm just not his feet are on the ground. Whatever the case is, I'm not able to move him with the first sweeping opportunity. Or I just feel like doing the second one because it's badass, right? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I start feeling the position lose, whatever the case is, I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna go from here and I'm gonna grab the log. I'm going to throw the log to the other side of my head. And not only am I going to move his leg right here, but I'm going to move my head around and lock on the exact same way with my head on the other side. Now where can you go? No way. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> He's stuck right here, right? There's one place Wherever he's going to go, and I'm going to help him. I'm just going to take, I'm going to roll my belly button to the ground. When I come through, I'm going to keep holding on to both, just like this. So if he's trying to go anywhere, he's stuck right here. Believe me, I have both his knees or his knee off the ground, his hip flexed against the ground right here, he can't go anywhere, right? So now all I'm going to do is let go of his hand, and I'm reaching up for a number of transitions, but I'm always looking at this hand right here, so I'm to the knee, here, here, any number of back attacks, right? We're basically just taking back control from our hands. So right here, he's pushing over. Bringing it up. Bam, we can't get our sweep or we just feel like doing the other one. If the log's over our head, we control it again. We need to, we don't just throw it over and start going somewhere. You know what he's gonna do? Take off like a sprinter. And then boom, and then you're not gonna get to You have to bring it over and control it so you can get that control and dump it. One right here. Bam, controlling it, turning my shoulder over all the way. Make it so I come all the way over and put all my weight on it right here. I don't want this to be a loose transition. I want it to be tight control. Back forward, taking it back from our modified X-Star. 